We'll see how this goes. Bell Pepper and Wreck, Mario and Luigi against Kim Sage and K Killer as Fox and Sierra. And Ness, sorry. So starting off here, Bell Pepper and Wreck doing pretty well. Good up smash by Wreck. These two have really good team combos. They have a lot of synergy, they play together a lot, so they're tough to beat. And the up smash from Bell Pepper will seal out Kim Sage's stock. Tried to go for the short you can the quite for you. So you're trying to cape and another up, up smash to take it out, to take Fox out. Oh, good up smash by Fox there. So it looks like they're just trying to get the brothers on the different sides and then work from there. Good nest combo. So right now, we're at six stocks to four. And Belfever going for the nest gimp and ends up killing himself. So a little bit unfortunate there, but they still have a pretty good lead. As long as Wreck can keep his stocks, they should be fine. And F Smash will take Mario's first stock. Foot still doesn't quite do anything. So Kim Sage and Wreck or uh, K Killer have actually been doing a pretty good job here, uh, considering this is our best team in Oklahoma. So we'll see if they can keep that up. Another up smash to close out another one of Fox's stocks. So. And we'll see if they can get this edge guard here on uh, Bell Pepper, but it doesn't look like they can. So now they have them both on each on different sides. Okay. Alright, I think Neighbor is going to be joining me here on commentary. So I'll scoot over next one for him. Alright, so checking out, I guess we're in Windows Doubles. Uh, pretty even so far. I haven't really been too much going on. Rest in peace, Luigi. Kim Sage and K Killer have actually been doing a really good job here because Bell Pepper and Wreck are our best team in Oklahoma. Okay. Arguably, so. And they've got Mario to his last stock. I mean, Foxes are pretty decently high percent, and this is pretty gimbal, especially by Mario. Right. So if he's able to clutch out well, a stock, takes it. I mean, it was still kind of live. Yep. <laughs> but uh, I think by just talking about it, I ruined all of his <laughs> hopes and dreams of clutching out that 2v1. It's true. Oh, well, I'm sure they can make it make it come back here. They're a, I they're mean, a one thing team. worth noting is in their back of their head, they probably are thinking, hey, even though that was a 2v1, I might have been able to win that. So it was close. There's no reason to think we're out of it, right? Yeah. And before you got here, Dr. Bell Pepper did kill himself trying to get the nest. So they did oh, have an SD, wow. so that probably factored into it. Yeah, then they're definitely probably super confident. Um, given the characters, I wouldn't be surprised if they ran it back. No, they they, they love Windy Hill Zone. Okay. So is that their that, signature? That is their counter pick, yes. Okay. They always love Windy Hill, so. so tell me a little bit about these players. Like what what makes them so good in the doubles? They have a lot of team synergy, their team combos. Oh, I don't really know what's going on. Maybe, maybe they're they a button check probably. Here. Yeah. They uh, they just have really good team synergy. Their team combos are always on point, so you know they they can put they can take stocks really easily with their team combos, so. Alrighty. I mean, that's that's always good when you, like, there, 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 there's a whole different metagame for doubles right. versus singles. Because right. you can be different. a really good singles player, but terrible in doubles because exactly. you have no synergy or no, like, consistent partner. Mm -hmm. These people are constantly practicing with each right. other. They, and that's they're probably the only team in Oklahoma that actually practices doubles. So oh, I definitely think that helps them. Kind of so. reminds me of uh, Iggy and Arrowlink from DFW. Mm -hmm. We just finished playing in the doubles. So. They, are, <laughs> they are brutal. It was pretty rough, yep. All right. Well, let's talk about the players that are on screen right now. So we got game two going to regular FD. I guess they probably they just um, didn't, wanna didn't want the Omega. Right. What probably happened was that Dr. Bell and Rec wanted to go to that Omega, but 
you kind of have to gentleman's to it. Right. And they didn't want the grass to mess up momentum stuff because that'll actually legitimately mess up Fox. Okay. Um, yeah. It messes up all like stuff like sliding up smashes. It goes less distance when there's the grass on there. That's true. I forgot about that. So they were probably thinking about that. Like, you know what? Actually, I want to go to regular FD since it's the same stage. They can't really say no. Right. And they also, Dr. Bell Pepper and Rec actually showed me a part of the stage on when he goes on where you can stage like them. The stage juts out a little bit, so it's kind of a interesting. It'd be tough to tag. Tim Sage going for a lot of these up -bees on stage. It hasn't been effective yet, but I wonder if he might be able to catch them later with it. I mean, it only takes one to take a stock right. at a pretty low percentage, low so. Percentage. Right now, playing it relatively even and neutral, right now all the stage control is going to blue team. Right. They are getting there a lot of up smashes in. Solid whiff punish, or solid uh, punish on his partner, you know? That's one thing that's super important in doubles, the awareness of if your teammate gets hit, that's almost like a bait in and of itself, because, hey, hit my teammate, and then I'm going to take your stock real quick. Right. Punishing throws is a very solid doubles option. Uh, it's 2v1 or something. These up smashers are just coming flying out of the Mario Brothers, taking the stock, sealing it so it's even right now. Pretty low percent, but... That's getting juggled. Here comes the nice combos. Okay, so what happened a second ago, Mario Brothers were getting sandwiched and then immediately swapped to sandwiching the opponents. Oh, they almost got that nice back throw into the four day. Neither team really opting to go for a stage control route. Oh, no. Both both teams actually just trying to go for max damage out of every combo. So we see them sliding from one side of the stage to another, back and forth, but consistently. Right, nobody's really been able to take stage control for a solid amount of time. Yet. Oh, wow. Really, really solid option covers with that down smash, taking the stock and keeping him safe. I'm really impressed by Kim Sage and Kate Pillar because this is... They know exactly yeah, where they're they, at. They, I wonder if they've teamed before because they, they seem to have pretty good team synergy as well. And thinking about Ness and Fox as a team, like, but Fox, historically a character who doesn't have trouble stealing stocks, but he doesn't have anything like a kill throw. He, he can throw out kill moves, but he doesn't always have the best setups into it, especially if it's like a double situation. But he can rack up damage so well, and then Ness just has back throw. Right, so. And not only that, but Ness can rack up some damage pretty consistently. And if Ness, I mean, Ness can consistently put himself in an option where, like, hey, come hit me, I'm vulnerable, and then Fox gets an up smash. Mm -hmm. They can seal out this stock from Ness. Oh, but Luigi dies. The back throw, so let's see if they can. Brett can bring this back or not. I mean, this is a similar situation to what we saw last game where last stock, but both players are at pretty high percent, so a 2v1 is more than doable right now. Right, and with Fox being so light, he's probably getting close to that up smash kill range, so. And that's dead, but weak whiff punish. Didn't go for an up smash, probably wouldn't have killed right there at that percent. Just had to get a forward throw, and now, ooh, oh, there we go. Let's get the down air confirmed into the up smash. And Kim Sage and K-Killer take it, which is actually surprising to me because this is our second-seeded doubles team that just lost here, so. Wow.